Welcome back to another edition of TIY, where Fox Four Rising anchor Kelly Dame joins me in the studio for a little imitation inspiration. So great to have you on the show this so morning. So good to be here. This is my happy place. I am so excited right about this. It's been a while since we've done a TIY. Usually we shoot this on location, so I'm so excited to have you in the studio because uh, the, the TIY was started for my love of DIY, and you really oh, share right that love with, with me. You. And if you walk <laughs> through Kelly's house, every piece in her house pretty much truly does tell a story. So I absolutely love your ideas. You're very talented in what Thank you, you do. Thank you. Everything Thanks. looks so professional. And today, you've got a really cool project that you're going to make for us. Yeah. What do you call this? Okay, so I love the imitation inspiration because that's how I get my ideas. A lot of people are like, where did you come up with this? And I'm not really a creative when it comes to, huh, what can I dream up not and all true. of a sudden have it? I like to just kind of <laughs> surf the internet and think, all right, maybe I can make this. So this all came about uh, my co-anchor, Miriam uh -huh. Zamorano, who we know and love. She just had her baby, baby boy, Thomas Vaughn. And so we were looking through stuff because she's got a plain theme for her mm -hmm. nursery. And we were looking on the site Etsy. I saw this thing for 90 bucks and was like, and uh, like I 90? can make this for 20. <laughs> so we got the supplies and I've been working on it. And, and so I've got the finished one that we'll show you in a minute, but I'll kind of take you through the process of what we do. And, you know, we've got stressful jobs. And so doing this kind of stuff is my happy place. Kind of helps so, with that. And not to mention the pride that comes along with making yeah. something yourself is incredible because you're kind of hanging that on your wall and you can walk through your house and be like, I made that. Well, and I love <laughs> that you said, this is what I tell everybody, every piece has a story. And I think that that's so fun going through and taking pride mm -hmm. in your house and what you put in there and Absolutely. just a lot more love in there. So. so let's show people how they can save some money. Okay. So so first of all, what I did was I went to a uh, hardware store and I got a piece of wood, large piece of wood. Mm -hmm. They cut it there themselves. And I've got some tips for you. I'll, I'll get to that in just a minute. So it was cut in three pieces. You can get any size, really, mm -hmm. and just as long as it's the size that you'll want that will fit in your home. And that is and kind of a, a trendy thing that we're doing, too, by the way, is that split panel image that you put yes, on the wall. Yeah, so this you see is gonna everywhere. Be one Im the goal is this is one image kind of split into three. Are we able to get a shot of the finished product yet? Because I want to show everybody kind of what the goal is. Here's the finished piece right here. So this is what it's going to look like as soon as Kelly shows you uh, just a few simple steps here. So and number this one. this is what I did. Okay, so number one, the whole idea is the antique. That's one of my favorite uh, types of techniques mm -hmm. is to do the antique look on different items. So I wanted to show you guys what I did on the back, the background of these, is I just took some paint, white paint gray paint whatever you want you can go a little heavy on the brush at first okay. go random does it matter to go with the grain of the wood no. or you just paint that in any well, direction I mean, you want however you want because I think the beauty of what's popular right now is that you can make it look distressed uh, unintentional and that's what is the best part of it that's what makes so, it perfect yeah so don't be afraid to go liberal with all of the paint at first mm -hmm. put it in just random spots and then the key is once you have those big globs, so to speak, you kind of work with a dry brush with just these mm -hmm. short strokes, and you just go, just go to town. And the consistency, too, I think a lot of times, even if you want to lighten it up, you can always add water to the paint, yes. maybe, or whatever you want is pretty much how you make it look. And I think it's important to no rules. start uh, very timidly on your brush strokes, <laughs> because obviously once you paint it, and there's too much paint on there, it is harder to uh -huh. take it off. But again, you can add water, like you said. Okay. But I just like to, like, this is a little light, so I'll maybe add more paint there. Mm -hmm. um, and then just kind of blend it with that dry brush, add more paint, blend it, and go. And pretty soon you'll have an antique look. So once this is covered, and then I assume we wait for it to dry, yep. we move yep. on to the next step. You wait for it to dry, then you've got a panel like this one that is already antique mm -hmm. and ready to go. So then what I did, and the thing that makes this so easy is that this uh, painting is a bunch of lines. So I've used a lot of painter tape here to figure this out. There's one part here. Don't freak out. Okay. We're gonna brag on her for a minute. This, <laughs> she said, don't I, freak out. I just <laughs> freehanded the airplane portion. And really, you can see a freehanded is a loose term because there are <laughs> erase marks. There's already, I had to erase and do this like three, four different times. So don't feel bad. <laughs> Just freehand it. And then this will be covered over in paint anyway. So it's not a big deal. So we've got this airplane. And then what I want to show you is the line of the tail is straight. So I just used a, a piece of painter's mm -hmm. tape right there like that. And then as you get to the curves, I then just broke up these pieces of tape. Kind of go around the tape. curve of the exactly. plane. Exactly. To go around the curve of the plane, it gives you more flexibility on exactly now, how you want I would say, too, if you're look. doing this, when you're working with painters, uh, painter's tape, it's always a good idea. Press it down oh hard gosh. to stop the lines from bleeding, because that can happen, too. <laughs> but that's press another it, great thing about this. It. 
as it. if it does bleed, it doesn't matter because that's kind of the idea. It doesn't have to be perfect. So just no. about 30 seconds left. Once you've got it taped down, yep. you kind of you you paint over it. You wait for it to do. You, do you wait for it to so dry? So here completely? we go. Yeah, you wait. So I'm gonna just paint in part of the plane. You go. You tape it all around. You do that. You wait for this to dry. While this is drying, then you can create the lines for this side and this side. Okay. Um, so I created one. I kind of eyeballed it. You put a big strip there, a big strip there, a big strip there, a big okay. strip there. And then after all of that's done, then you go through and you add. Let me just show you an example here. You would do, like, if you want to do one of those little crisscross lines mm -hmm. that show the support for the plane. You just make a small little crisscross line. Okay. Find out where you want your start and your end point uh -huh. to go, and then you just brush in between there. Awesome. Rip it off after it's halfway dry. You don't want it to be all the way dry. Okay. And then. Good tip there. That's it. Lastly, you'll just put these hang on, it on the, the back. Wall. Hang it on the wall. Uh, thank you so much, Kelly. Yeah. It looks phenomenal. I'm so excited to, p to uh, see this piece actually hung up on the wall. And like we said, you're just kind of you've got that pride that goes along with these products, uh, projects, and anybody can do yeah. it. Yeah. And okay. what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. We're gonna surprise Miriam with this and uh, show it to her. And I know she's gonna we love have it. The perfect place to hang it. Thank yes. you, Kelly. For more information, head to our website, fox4morningblend.com. Challenge accepted. Up next, the Fox 4 team is on a mission to drink more water, and we want you at home to do the same. How a simple hair accessory can help you accomplish your goals.